Tim Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Today I'm taking a look at another Dell smartphone and you may recall I previously took a look at the Dell Venue Pro which is my preferred Windows Phone 7 device and now I have in my hand to take a look at the Dell Venue not the Pro. Now if we turn on the display of both of these and unlock them you can see that the Dell Venue Pro on the left here is Windows Phone 7. The Dell Venue on the right is Android. It's actually Android 2.2 for y'all. And if you look on the front, it's actually interesting because the uh, the Venue has three buttons, well, touch sensitive areas, back, menu, and home, similar to the three buttons that are on the Venue Pro. And if you look at it, just by looking, they, they do look uh, similar. They both have Gorilla Glass 4.1 inch AMOLED displays and they both have that kind of, I don't know if you can see it in the there, but there's a curve to the display, slight curve in there. And uh, if we just take a look around the hardware, we can compare it side by side. See the bottom is pretty much the same. They both have the speaker grill, um, one's a mic, one's a speaker, the micro USB connection um, on the left side, the venue on top, the Android one has a um, ringer switch, why uh, the Windows Phone 7 one has nothing. On the top, they're the same, they have a 3.5mm headset jack and the, and the power button. And then on the other side, we see they also are the same with uh, both a camera button and a volume switch. And then if you look on the back, don't mix them up here, we have the Venue Pro on the left and the Venue on the right. Um, same kind of design, one is glossier than the other one. Um, the venue actually has an 8 megapixel camera and um, just based upon some initial testing uh, it is a much better camera, it takes much better pictures than the 5 megapixel one. The 5 megapixel on the uh, venue pro is, is actually quite lame. Um, I know it's the minimum spec for Windows Phone 7 but it, it really doesn't take very good pictures at all. Whereas the 8 megapixel on the venue actually seems to be doing pretty well with, uh, with pictures. And as you can see there's a bit of a difference in thickness, primarily because the Venue Pro, of course, as we can see here, has the slide-up keyboard. Okay, so they're very similar hardware. So let's put that uh, Venue Pro aside and just kind of take a little bit of a look at the Dell Venue. This is actually the retail box for it. Very similar to the Venue Pro. You know, kind of shows it off there, um, so on and so forth. So let's just take a look at the, the Venue. Now I must have erased, must have done something when I was uh, holding the two devices there. So this is an Android 2.2 uh, device for you. It does have uh, the what's called the Dell Stage. So as you can see, there's little icons and the little dots on the bottom, and we have seven home screens to bounce between, and they don't wrap around. So you get over to them, and then. Okay, so this is the home. Now I must have realigned it. So this here is the Dell stage, and this is recent apps. It has your weather up top, um, you know, and on the bottom there's a browser button, there's the application button, and then there's the phone dialer. You can see there's the phone dialer. Web browser is typical Android web browser. And then... Uh, you see there's some things like contacts, email, home, and if we tap on down the bottom right, we tap on that, it'll actually show you quick icons to jump to those jump to those places. See if I go down here and I jump over to music, goes me to the music hub. So go back to the home one. And that's what I must have done. I must have rearranged that one there. But anyway, so this is the the uh, the Dell stage. Now, if we tap on the applications, you can see we now have all these apps. And uh, it comes with the uh, Amazon MP3 um, Dell Video Stage. If we tap on this, you'll see this is actually a, a Dell Video Store. So you can actually go in here, and it says uh, it's powered by Roxio now. And uh, you can rent videos. I think you can actually, you might even be able to purchase them. Let's see, if we go to something like. Uh, Three days, yeah. So there's rent for three ninety nine or buy for fifteen ninety nine. You can watch the trailer, and that's through this uh, this store here. It's kind of cool. 
I'm on a 4.1 inch screen. Yeah, content it says, okay. Uh, let's see, and then if we slide over, we see there's some more apps. Some of them, these, some of these I have loaded on there. So there's not very many from Dell. Um, Zinio Reader was, was loaded on there. Um, music, messaging, some pretty basic stuff. It does have exchange support. It's not the greatest, um, but it does seem to do the job. If we go back to uh, home, we could jump into settings. You know, it's all the typical settings that are in there. Nothing uh, too amazing. Uh, let's see. I wanted to let's see. There's different wallpapers, live wallpapers, things like that. The one nice thing, as we can see, let's go to here, tap on there, is it comes with swipe preloaded, and I, I'm a big fan of swipe, so it's nice to have uh, swipe on there. It does also support um, landscape and portlet, portrait. Oh yeah, it does have, you know, like I mentioned before, it has that soft touch. I mean, it's a very, it, it feels quite nice in your hand. It's a very high quality device. If I was looking for an Android, I was actually I was actually thinking about buying this device until I think I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt and try the LTE out. But uh, one thing I want to mention is this comes in both flavors for both uh, AT&T GSM network and the T-Mobile 3G network as well. Um, you know, like I said, it's a 4.1 inch AMOLED screen, the 1 gigahertz processor, 8 megapixel camera, uh, it also comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card in the package, and I believe it sells for 4.99 from Dell. And I'm not sure if you can find it with coupons and things like that. But if you're looking for a nice Android device that's uh, you know SIM unlocked, uh, well, no contract required. It's not necessarily SIM unlocked. I haven't. Uh, oh, I did pop. Yes, I did pop my T-Mobile SIM into this one, and it will connect it via Edge. So I guess it is SIM unlocked. No contract required. $500 is a reasonable price for a, a fairly solid Android device. Oh yeah, let me just check, uh, just show you this in the settings. One thing you usually look at is what's the memory on these uh, these devices. So you can see there, there's the 16 gig card that's in there. And then it also says this available is 442 megabytes of uh, onboard storage. So that's, that's pretty good for the internal storage uh, for you to have available for loading up some apps and things like that. So that's a quick look um, at the Dell Venue Android 2.2 device, um, cousin to the Dell Venue Pro with uh, without the keyboard, but still a very nice form factor and a and a nice uh, nice Android device to consider if you're looking for a uh, fairly vanilla kind of flavored Android device with no carrier contract. Thanks for watching.